Adam Navis, and I'm here with Liz Wade. Hello, Liz. Hi, Adam. Today we're going to be having a real conversation about the program All About the Smile. If you haven't had a chance to see or listen to that program yet, you can hear it on YouTube, you can listen to it on our podcast, or if you visit our website, you can read along with the program there. Um, so we recommend that you do that prior to this program, but if you haven't and you want to listen to it and then go back, I guess that's okay too. <laughs> Liz, before we dive into talking about the program, what is the program all about the smile about? Well, um, okay. So in this program, really, uh, Okay, I will I will level with you, Adam. I thought when um, we kind of looked through this program to have this conversation, um, that this would be kind of like a program that I didn't really learn a lot from or right. that I, um, you know, I already knew all the stuff. And I was really surprised that there were a lot of things to talk about in this program that were really interesting. Um, and so, uh, first of all, it talks about why people smile. And some of those things were really interesting to me or surprising. Um, so we smile when we meet people. Uh, we smile maybe when we're uncomfortable, you know? Oh, okay. and, and I thought to myself, oh, I do smile when I'm uncomfortable, right? Like if I'm in an awkward situation, I'm like, right. yeah, sorry. And then, but that is for a purpose to form some human connections so that people can understand me better and so that I can like communicate to them that I need help. Um, and uh, there was also a reason that people smile is to make them feel happier, which I also thought was very interesting. Hmm. Um, and then it talked about um, the ways that you can tell if someone is really smiling or if they are um, using a fake smile. Oh. So that was really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then finally, uh, the program really talks about the meaning of smiles in different cultures. So... Um, you know, maybe smiling in one culture isn't as, um, isn't as popular or it sends a different message, um, than if you smile in a different culture and, um, you know, it, those things can be, um, yeah, just misinterpreted if you're smiling in one culture and mm -hmm. in another. So really that just went through, um, all the different things about a smile. And I, like I said, I learned a lot in this program. You know, I had a very similar experience in that yeah. when I, you hear a smile, you think, oh, this is, I know what a smile is. Yeah, right? yeah, I smile all the time. And then you read it and you're reading through all these different ways that a smile works. And it actually made me think of emojis because oh, yeah. there's a smile emoji, right? Hey, it means yeah. happy. But there's also like subtle, like, Eh, like nervous emojis, like trying to distill the different <laughs> smile meanings into emojis is really kind of, it's a, it was a helpful way for me to think about the different ways people use smiles to communicate yeah. different well, which, things. Which, you know, when you're sending a text and you want to be like, um, you want to make sure somebody knows it's a joke or you want to right. make sure that somebody knows that you're happy, like even though you're asking them a question, like which smile emoji do you choose? Right. And yeah. <laughs> it isn't that the emoji. Or do you even add a smile emoji? Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's not that the emojis determine how we communicate. <clears throat> we need these emojis because they help us communicate. Right. Um, but I, I think that the, um, I got really uh, excited or not, not excited. See, again, I'm, I'm struggling for what is the word? What is the... <laughs> Um, it really made me think about uh, the different people who are going to be listening to this program, right. where they lived, what a smile meant to them. And I would love yeah. to hear if you're watching this, um, if you live, if you'd say you smile a lot, you smile a little, um, you live in a, well, a, go ahead. Yeah. And I was going to say that stuff. Um, really changes from person to person, even within a culture. So oh, of course, yes. I think that like probably people in the United States smile a lot um, compared to maybe other cultures. But there are still people in the United States who maybe don't smile a lot. 
Sure. Um, and some who smile even more. Right. So yeah, I am really interested, like maybe if your culture is a smiling culture, but you are not a smiling person, like how does that make you feel? Well, and there's also um, places, uh, I've known people who've come to the United States and they have found people to smile a lot, but <laughs> they don't get to know people beyond that, what they call the surface level. So they're very yeah. friendly. Hello, how are you? But if they really want to go and like have a deep relationship, the smile isn't very deep. Yeah. Um, well, and I could imagine if you were in that position and you were not used to a culture that smiled a lot, that you might um, be confused about what those smiling um, messages are sending, right. right? Like, oh, I see all these people smiling at me. What does that mean? Even right. if you don't think in your head, what is that person smiling at me for? Yeah. Um, it might be just under the surface, like, you know, Oh, I feel really uncomfortable yeah. here and I don't know why. You don't know me. Why are you smiling at me? That's, yeah, that's yeah. weird. Or even, um, you know, uh, as a lady who has traveled before, mm -hmm. um, sometimes I have been told in a country, I, mean, I don't even know what country it was, but, you know, in some countries, like, you shouldn't smile at people on the street because mm. it sends a message that you're not wanting to send. Like it right. maybe sends a message that you wanna be their girlfriend or right. um, it sends a message that you're inviting them to come talk to you. Mm -hmm. um, so in the United States, when I smile at a person on the street, you know, everybody just usually smiles at each yeah. other. Just a quick little. Um, yeah, exactly, on. just a greeting, a smile greeting. But maybe if you go to a different culture, um, like I said, I've been told, don't just smile at anyone because it might be giving a message that you don't want to give. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, interestingly, I was in the store just yesterday, um, <laughs> I think buying some eggs, and I was wearing a mask. And uh, someone who was working at the store was also wearing a mask. And we were doing that that little polite thing, but all we had, we just had our eyebrows. So it was yeah. just like... <laughs> Like that's all, yeah. it's just this little, that we had to smile, not just because the program talks about smiling with your eyes, right? Like the yeah, genuine yeah. smile talks about your eyes and people, uh, uh, a lot of people, at least in the United States over the last year where people have been wearing masks, um, mm -hmm. have said, oh, I can't see people smile. I don't know. But actually you can, your smile isn't just with your mouth. It's with your whole yeah. face. <laughs> and I think that's an important, it was, it was fun. We had to work really hard to smile, but, um, it can be done, right? Yeah. You know, this, um, reminds me of sometimes I'm taking a walk outside, have my mask on, um, cause I'm heading somewhere and I'll have, um, some sunglasses on. Mm. So then, um, I always think like when I pass someone, I'm like, you know, hi, or even just a smile, like just a, a greeting smile. Yeah. But then I'm like, oh. They can't see my eyes. Right. So then like, what do I do? Then I just look super rude just you, walking by people. You, you have to use your whole body. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, like use your hand. Hello. How do you smile? Yeah. <laughs> Jazz hands. And then they're like, ooh, weird. <laughs> you know, yeah, the, no. the other thing this, so, oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, please. No, I was going to change the subject. So you sounded like you wanted oh, to talk about something else. No, here. I just, I was, it was <clears> thinking <throat> about, um, we're talking about the differences between one country and another as far as smiling. And that reminded me of the program about apologizing. Do you, oh, do you remember yeah. that one about how different yeah. cultures, different countries apologize and say, I'm sorry uh, for a variety of um, different situations that if you, you know, bump into someone while you're walking, you might say, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Other people wouldn't, you know, that's just life. There's lots of people around. Um, so I think we, you should, if you liked this program, you should definitely check out that program. I'm not sure exactly what the title is. Saying, um, so, I think saying it's sorry? just called Saying Sorry. Yeah. So check out that program uh, and or let us know. Or the power of apology. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking. <laughs> Let's try to. Yeah. See, we're both smiling out of like, are we happy? Yeah, I don't know. Are we happy we can't remember the name of that program exactly? No, yeah. but we're like, eh, like, okay, good so, enough. So, 
I did want to talk about the the why people smile part. Yes. Because I thought that was really interesting. Um, you know, I don't really think about when I meet people if I smile, but I do. Um, but then also, like I mentioned before, that sort of, un- you know, being uncomfortable and forming a connection, I thought that was really interesting. Like mm. why, um, you know, instead of using words, it's just this really important um, <clears throat> like just facial thing we do without yeah. even thinking of it. Yeah. And speaking of other programs, Adam. Yes. Um, that's the uh, the face program, right? How your face is telling all your secrets. Yes. Um. Now, what is that one called? <laughs> the human face? No, it's not called that. Um. Anyway, so yeah, all of those um nonverbal sort of sort of things that go along with your like oh sorry yeah or, the things you know, you're not oh, thinking about that you are I don't know what to do yeah um and just that um because we all smile yeah um and and because we have those um those expressions that that communicate things um that that is sort of like a worldwide thing I think yeah. I, th- I do think a lot of what we do with our face is we don't think about. But I do think when we meet babies, we oh yeah we are very into- – like we exaggerate. We're like, hey! Yeah. <laughs> and we know those nonverbals because they, they don't have verbal skills, right? So that we right. do a lot of it with our tone of voice but also with our faces and we, we might lower our tone and – Hi, you know. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that we, we, um, we do know in our heart what those big <clears throat> smiles and you know smiling with our eyes does, and we can use those. Um, we can be intentional about how we use those. Yeah. Um, though it's Just, it's sometimes not genuine. I mean, right. that's a, that's the hard line. But too. speaking of being, you used an interesting word there that I really wanted to pick up on, and that was intentional. Okay. And so I think actually my biggest takeaway from this program was about using a smile intentionally. Mm-hmm. Um, and so um, when like why people smile is to make people feel happier, but also to make yourself feel happier. Mm. So that was something super interesting to me in, um, you know, if you're feeling down or um, like I am, uh, I, maybe you can hear in my voice, I am sick. I am so sick right now. Yeah, I feel um, bad. but And yeah, I have a very bad cold. And um, um, one of the ways to make yourself feel better Probably mentally, but you know your mental state. That's where feelings also come from. Your physical state, right? Um, is to smile, and you can feel better. So here I am, uh, as they say in English, sick as a dog, <laughs> and, and um, I am smiling. Um, and I'm hoping, and I feel it. It's it's making my mood better. Good. Um, so I thought, you know, if we are, if we are, maybe like. Down in the dumps, there's another idiom for you. If we're feeling sad or, um, you know, down about things. Um, and I have seen this in sort of like uh, in apps that encourage gratitude um, to smile. And that you can smile even if you are feeling terrible and even if you are feeling sad and even if something bad happened, um, you can practice smiling and you just maybe go in front of a mirror and smile 10 times. See yeah. how that feels. It sounds Do that weird, a couple times a day. It's what? like a little exercise. Yeah, it is. It's just, it is just like exercise. You know, you exercise your muscles to, you know, make your body better. Maybe you exercise your smiling to make your, your whole mental state feel better. Well, Liz, whenever we get to do one of these, you make me smile. So I I appreciate, even though you're not feeling well, we can talk to our uh, Spotlight friends. And I want to say that if you haven't listened to this program all about the smile, make sure you go and do that. While you're uh, there, you can can subscribe to us. You can smile. (laughs) You will naturally smile. Uh, We hope we've made you smile. But make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, check our, our website, follow us on social media, um, and 
We hope that you are having a, a good smiley day. We hope that until next time, you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out.